everyone. Uh, welcome to today's preparation session. So we are going to prepare for class right now. It's going to be a short little video. I will give you some vocabulary. I will go over the study guide so that you can be prepared for the Zoom session where we will do a lot of talking and we will discuss our user experiences on the internet. So as you know, a lot of the business is going online. Everything is online. People are shopping online. People are meeting people online. People are discussing things online. You know, everything is, is online. And so, uh, you know, developers, especially website developers, but also uh, app developers, you know, uh, they are trying to create the best experience. Okay. And so that's why they say that uh, your experience, your experience as the customer or the client is important to us. And that's exactly the title of the lesson. Your experience is important to us. Okay. So we're going to read this uh, short little text here in class. You can also read it uh, beforehand so that you can be prepared. Okay, so take a look at that and we will discuss what does UX mean? Okay, so this is in here. Okay, so what, what does uh, UX mean and what is good or bad UX design? Okay, so give examples. Okay, also we're going to talk just as, um, you know, as, uh, as an introduction, we're going to talk about websites in general. So some good questions to think about as you are reviewing for class or preparing for class is, uh, you know, have you ever created a website? You know, what applications do you use? Uh, do you use WordPress? Do you use uh, some of these uh, templates, you know, on Wix and on different, uh, you know, different uh, services? You know, what are some good things about websites, bad things about websites? Do you know a really good website? What makes this website good? What makes a website bad? And also talk about domain names. You know, some people buy and sell domain names. It's a business. I don't know if it's still hot, but it used to be. It used to be a really good business to just buy some uh, domain names and then sell them. And so, so yeah, just let's, we will start talking about websites in general. And then we're going to look at some uh, vocabulary. So these are some great, great, uh, you know, advanced vocabulary words. So compelling. You know, this is very, very interesting it's compelling. It gets your attention. It's very compelling. Intuitive, you know, it's uh, easy to, to use, you know, you can figure it out easily. You know, it transitions from one thing to, to something else. Okay, it's intuitive. You can be like, oh, okay, yeah, you click on it and you know how to navigate. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not, it's not a, you can use your intuition. Okay, so that's, that's why that's the base word, intuition. Okay, to, to use it. Okay, so overwhelming when it's not, something is too much. It's too much. It's too much. It makes you it uh, makes you feel bad. It's a lot of uh, work. It's overwhelming. It's too heavy. It's too much information. Too much information, and you can't deal with it. Okay, smooth. Something is smooth. It's you know no problem. It's smooth. Okay, it is. Uh, there is no. Um, yeah, it, there's, uh, you know, it doesn't go up and down. Okay, there are not a lot of uh, problems, a lot of barriers. It's just smooth. Okay, great. And then subtle, we have subtle right here. Now subtle means it can mean a couple of things. It can mean a very small change, you know, that you can't notice it. Subtle, but it can also mean like a, an indirect way of saying something. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to go to the park. Well, you know, instead of saying, oh, let's go to the park, I could be like, oh, it looks nice outside. Mm, some fresh air, you know, sounds, uh, sounds good, sounds, oh, you know. So it's, you, it's an indirect way of saying something. It's a subtle, subtle way of um, communicating. Okay, subtle way, you know, it's indirect, indirect, very soft, you know, the other person will have to think a little bit if they want to understand what you are trying to say. Okay, and ubiquitous. Okay, ubiquitous means uh, when something is everywhere, it's ubiquitous, you are omnipresent, you know, it's everywhere all the time, you're ubiquitous. It's, for example, there's a celebrity, you know, they have a 
they're ubiquitous, meaning, meaning everywhere you go, people are talking about them. Every, you know, all the websites, all the YouTube videos, everyone is talking about it. So this person is everywhere. They are ubiquitous. Okay, great, great, great. So these are some synonyms right here that you can connect them to. Okay, you can figure that one out. Okay, now the, this one, we're going to go deeper into websites, websites and user experiences here because, um, because as we talked about, it's very important in business. It's very important. Of our, it's an important part of our life. And so let's talk about some good and bad examples of the following things on websites in apps that you frequently use. Okay, so you want to describe your, your personal experience, maybe your professional experiences using the words from here. So if you can, you can use these words right here, if you can. Okay, so navigation is going from one, one website, one page to another. Okay, text, okay, text the words, the letters. Deleting a message you've accidentally sent. Okay, so that's in the old days. Once you sent it, it was out of your hands. Nowadays, some applications offer you the chance to delete a message. Now, sometimes it's, it's uh, time sensitive, meaning it's, you know, you could, you could delete it maybe a few minutes or you can delete it as long as the other person hasn't read it, you know, or something along those lines, okay? But that's, some people like that, some people don't like that. Ads, okay, that's a big one. We talked a lot about advertising, advertising here and um, a lot of advertisements, you know, on the internet, talk about those, okay? Pop-ups, okay, we don't see those that much, but we still see it a little bit. And notifications, okay, these are, these are some things that some websites offer us. Are they good, are they bad, why? Your experience with them. Instructions, okay, instructions. Interesting point, okay? So instructions is when they show you how to do something. Websites on applications, you know, what, uh, what instructions have you seen? Close or cancel buttons, okay? These buttons that you click on, tell us about those. Do you see any? Design, this is a great, great, great topic here. We could probably spend a lot, a lot of time on design, website design. Now, minimalists believe that it's better to have few designs. Maximalists believe that we need to have uh, a lot of designs, a lot of colors, a lot of elements, make it really interactive. Okay, so discuss design, good things, bad things, and mobile or mobile optimization, meaning the whatever website, whatever place you are visiting on your desktop or on your computer, you know, uh, or on your tablet, of course, you know, you can also access it on your phone, you know, so it needs to be optimized, meaning it needs to be usable, uh, you know, on your, on your phone as well. Okay. That's important. Okay. So this is, a, this is important because we have some sentences here, sentences, and we need to complete the gaps with prepositions. Okay. So it's the same preposition in both, both sentences. Okay. So prepositions, you know, let's make a quick list of prepositions so that this can help you understand what prepositions. So it's like down, under, to, from, with, uh, up. Okay. Around, between, oops, between, Okay, not Bert. Yes, between. Okay, so all of these, they're short, short, uh, short words. Typically go before uh, nouns. Okay, and um, you know, or you know, adjectives, or you know, they relate, so they help connect. Okay, and especially the relationship between uh, between different words in a sentence. Okay, so um. So let's look at these. We'll check the answers. You can do this. So what prepositions go here? You can work on that. And I'll give you the answers in class. Now, here we have a short little video. We have a short little video here. Okay, sorry about that. We have a short little video. Watch the video. Okay. And the, uh, tell us what dark patterns are. Okay, so we're going to talk about this in class, what dark patterns are. Very, very interesting. Okay, and uh, the second time you watch the video, you can click on it here again. It's the same one. Maybe, uh, you know, try to catch what these things are. Confirm shaming, 
Roach Motel mm, and Hotel Poachers. Mm, okay. Interesting concepts there. Okay. So hopefully you're intrigued because this is, I mean, this is, this is the latest stuff about, you know, websites and IT and user experiences. Okay. So talk about those. We'll discuss these things. Okay. And then these are some other dark patterns that are not mentioned in the video. Okay. And uh, discuss what they might mean. Sneak into a basket. Privacy zuckering. Mm. Trick question, hidden cost. Okay, so we want to uh, to discuss what these things could mean. Okay, and um, and then finally, we're going to talk about these 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 questions. Which of these dark patterns have you been a victim of? Okay, so maybe victim is too strong of a word. You know, I don't like to think of myself as a victim, but but you know, what which ones of these dark patterns have you seen and have you experienced? Okay, now think about the last time a company guilted you. Mm, they made you feel guilty. And they guilted you into buying something. Okay, so you felt guilty, you felt bad. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm bad. Oh, yeah, I, I feel bad about this. I don't want to say no. Oh, okay, yeah. So did they manipulate you? What was the thing that you bought? And tell us about this experience. Have you ever wanted to only subscribe for a trial period, but had to share your bank information without an opportunity to opt out? Opt out means to get out. So let's say you want to subscribe. You want, you want, a, you want a trial. So it's just a free or a cheap version. Okay, but you had to give your, uh, your bank information. And, and in the end, you couldn't opt out. You couldn't cancel. What happened there? Okay. So even if you don't have an exact experience, you can still, you know, share something here. The important thing is to, in these conversations, if you can't answer the, the, the question 100%, answer it 50%, okay? Talk about trial products or trial periods in general, okay? All right. What can companies do to make sure their UX design is smoother and doesn't trick users. Okay, so we don't want to trick our users now because that, that creates a bad relationship, client and customer. We do not want to create a bad relationship because the relationship with, with our customers and our clients is very important. Okay, so the big question is what can companies do to make sure their design, their website design, their user experience, their applications, you know, are uh, give the best, the best possible experience and the best and create the best possible relationship. Now, think of companies whose websites and apps have a seamless UX design. They don't have a very smooth, okay, very, you know, that transitions very smoothly, goes from one part to another, okay, and it's it flows very nicely. So talk about that. Can you think of any? And what about some frustrating designs. Maybe you've seen a website that's just frustrating. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't flow very nicely. Okay. Have you ever been discouraged from buying a product or a service because of a bad UX design? So have you ever been to a website? Let's say you were interested in the product, but you know, the, the person or the company selling it, they didn't do a good job with their website with their UX design. And maybe you said, oh, no, I'm not going to buy because I don't like the website. I don't like the, the UX design. So talk about that. Okay, everyone. So we're going to talk about this. This was your presentation. Watch the, the YouTube video right here. Okay, the one that's linked. And, uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, write them down and ask me in class. Okay. Okay, great. So I will see you in class in the Zoom session and we will we'll do a lot of the learning. It's going to be a great, great session, a lot of conversation, very dynamic, you know, with a lot of, uh, a lot of people there. So uh, let's see, let's see, uh, let's see you in class. All right. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.